Hi guys and welcome back. Um, tonight is a little bit of an experiment. Uh, I am trying out some new lights, so hence why it looks like I'm in a dark cupboard, uh, because I kind of am. Um, and using the acoustic, uh, my uh, my amps had to be repaired by the lovely, lovely folk at Victory Amps, who uh, who just their customer service is just ludicrously good as. Um, Anyone with a victory amp will know. So um, while that's uh, getting a little turnaround, I'm going to be doing some acoustic numbers. So uh, expect to see a few more of these bad boys. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to be looking at um, a tune that I love uh, called Footsteps. Um, one of the old school tunes, this. So uh, nothing remarkable uh, tuning wise. Uh, it's in standard tuning and there aren't too many parts to it either. But the parts that are there are pretty sick. So, without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, so the first riff goes like this. Pretty straightforward, sounds awesome. Starts off with um, a hammer on from the first uh, fret on the E string to the third fret on the E string. And then you're, you're not playing the, um, the A string here, but you're letting the D and the G string ring out. Like a G chord, basically. Okay, so slowly, that is a hammer-on from the first fret to the third fret. Uh, and you're going to be, um, avoid playing the A string. That's kind of muted, but you do want to be uh, letting the D string and the G string ring out. It's basically a, an F to a G chord. Okay, you can play it any way you want. Um, well, I see Stone playing it with his first and his little finger, which kind of feels nice. Um, and your little finger should should naturally mute the uh, the string, but also means you can arch your finger enough to get the uh, the D and the G string ringing out. When you're playing the F note, you want to angle your finger so that you're also muting the A string. So you might want to play about with just the angle of your finger and move your thumb back and forth so that you get that uh, nice and comfy. Okay. And I'm not going to give you the tab for every single tiny little bit. I'll give you the tab for the main parts. The rest of it is just kind of feel. So you can get into it that way. So, okay, so the riff builds a little bit as well. So with the strumming, as the tune progresses, you get gradually more into it. So you've got to put quite a bit of feel into it. And then uh, at certain points in the song, um, you're going to hear him play. and then into the next chords, okay? So just bear that in mind. But the riff is identical. I think I might see him put his, um, his little finger on the octave as well for that sort of. Before he goes into that bit. Okay, so the next riff is just a C chord shape. Um, you're also gonna use your little finger to play a little passing note on the D note on the B string. That's the third fret on the B string. Okay, and then you're going to slide up uh, the C shape. So, and again, you're leaving those uh, notes ring out. So the G and the E string, those are ringing out. Uh, 
and it's the same chord that they use in Breath. Okay? So. Okay, so that rhythm is basically. Okay, that again. Two, three, four. That's it in its simplest form. So you'll sometimes hear a slide as well. So this um, finger is playing. Okay, so. He's sliding up the chord a little bit earlier than the... Okay, so it's like a passing chord, I guess. Okay, so after you've played that bit for round... I think he plays that round four times. Uh, then you're going to play an E minor to a C. But Stone, from what I've seen live, puts the uh, G on that chord as well. So if you see the C chord, if you see the C chord, C chord's like this. So you're going to have to play it with your little pinky where your third finger would normally be. And then you add your third finger on the uh, G on the E string. So that is the third fret. Sounds really meaty. And then back into this riff. Uh, then again into this. then you're into the chorus and this is um, just four chords E minor um, there's a, a D with F sharp uh, in the root uh, G and then an A that through sounds like this and you sometimes hear on that um, A note they do a little sus fourth. Of course they do! What Pearl Jam song would be complete without a sus fourth? So that sounds a bit like this. Okay, so you get like that sort of. like an open so it's very again very loose um, and just adds a little bit of flavor to it and I think that's it that's the whole shebang so first riff and then occasionally with a and then into and then And that, my friends, is Footsteps. Job done. Thanks for watching. See you soon.